Hey everybody, this is Walter with Access Electric. And in the last episode on in this series on basic motor control, we talked about a three-wire start-stop circuit. Now in today's episode, I'm not going to describe every component in a motor control circuit like I did last in the last episode. If you missed it, I'll put a link to that up above and you can check that out right now. But in today's episode, I just want to get back to what I asked you at the end of the last video, which was to think about what the circuit would look like if you added three stop buttons or three start buttons. What that would do to the circuit, how would you wire that up? In today's episode, I want to show you how that's done. So let's get right into it. So here on the screen, I have a the same circuit we talked about last time. We talked about a motor control circuit. Uh, here is our breaker. I'll turn that on. That gives us 480 volts to the motor contactor. I'll turn on our control circuit, which sends 120 volts to our stop button, goes through our stop button, feeds our start button, and we can control our contactor. We turn on our start. It closes the auxiliary, basically bypasses the start button, and the motor starter runs, the motor runs. Today, uh, actually, and then I showed you a ladder diagram. Here's a ladder diagram of the exact same control circuit. This is a 120 volts control circuit, feeding your stop button, feeding your start button. This is the auxiliary of the coil. So as soon as you energize the coil, the contactor closes, the auxiliary closes, which keeps itself on. And it doesn't matter if you push the start button again, once you hit stop, the auxiliary opens and it turns off. I asked you in last week's video, what would it take if you had three stop buttons and three start buttons? How would this circuit change? So let me show you what that looks like. Here is the same motor starter, the same motor starter. We have our 480 volt turned on. We have our control circuit turned on. And here we have our stop buttons and our start buttons. And you can see our stop buttons are wired in series. That means it travels through the first stop button to get power to the second stop button. It travels through the second stop button to get power to the third stop button. So if I open any of these circuits, any of these buttons, I should say, it opens the power to the rest of the circuit. Um, so uh, these are wired in series. You have to have this button and this button and this button all in their normally closed position to allow current to flow to the rest of the circuit. Now our start buttons are wired in parallel. They're an OR circuit. So you have this start button or this start button or this start button. Uh, you, any one of them will work. So if I turn on start button number two, you have your motor starter stop, start. If I can turn it off when it, with any stop button. If I start motor starter uh, push button number three, the motor starter starts. So this is how a three wire, you can see I still have only three wires going from my bucket to all my start and stop buttons. Um, and you, don't, you, can, you can pull more wire if you want. It, it makes it easier to troubleshoot, actually, if you don't have it going from button to button to button. If you run, it, run them all the way back to the bucket and then you put them through a terminal, it actually makes it easier to troubleshoot. But uh, this is all it takes, three wires, you can run to as many start stops as you want and you wire them at all the start stops in series, all the starts in parallel. And that's it. So how would this look in a ladder diagram? Let me show you. Here is a ladder diagram of the multiple stops and multiple starts. Again, the stop buttons are wired in series. So each one turns off power to the rest of the circuit. The stop buttons, are, I'm sorry, the start buttons are wired in parallel. So any start button will energize the circuit, close the auxiliary contact, which maintains the circuit. The auxiliary contact is effectively bypassing the start button. So I can push these, nothing happens until I hit stop, and then I would have to push another start button. And that's it. 
That is a three wire start stop with multiple start stop buttons. Hopefully that helps you. If you like this video and you want to subscribe to our channel, hit the subscribe button. If you want to receive more notifications of videos like this, click on the bell. Uh, if you hit the little like button, that'd be great. It helps a lot. So we'll see you in the next video. Take care.